Hey YouTube, how's it going? Mevlin back here again with another Alchemy Stars video and for this one we're going to be testing out Joni Boom. The reason why I decided to choose Joni Boom for today's uh, video is that because I want to see if she's going to work well with Ariel. I think there is a lot of synergy between Joni Boom and Ariel. They both have that uh, Tal reset as part of their active skill. They also have burns. And if you don't know Ariel, Ariel scales off with a lot of enemies getting burnt. She's going to increase your team's attack for every stack of burns. So having another burn unit in the team with Ariel is going to make Ariel shine even more. And yeah, I just want to see if they're going to work well together. And also, I feel like every other character in the game, someone's already tried it. Like I could build my Michael, I could build my Erdon, but it's kind of boring because we all know Michael and Erdon is gone. But for Joni Boom, I feel like there's not that much content for her, so uh, we're going to try her out on this vid. So for her kit, for active skill, like I said, it's got some skill resets. She's actually one of those heroes where it's either you bring her to Ascension 3 or you don't use her at all. Because her active skill pre-Ascension 3 changes all tiles, it resets everything. It's when you bring her to A3, that's when she gets the ability to uh, reset all non-red tiles. So she's one of those characters where if she's not A3, you're probably not going to be using her. So her active skill is going to be changing all non-red tiles in the nearest two surrounding cluster. The good thing about this is that it is preemptive and it's also in a two round cooldown. So it's a pretty short cooldown and it deals some damage. The downside is that the area effect is pretty small. Only two surrounding clusters. That's only a couple of tiles. Meanwhile, her chain combo is going to be uh, the uh, diamond shape into a what is this, the radial shape. Uh, again, another downside of her is that she's a four star. Every four star in the game don't have the third tier. Uh, usually other characters, the five stars and six star characters have like a 12, 13, 14 on the last tier. Uh, because she's a four star, she doesn't have that, unfortunately. And lastly, for equipment skill, uh, it's just going to give her some burns with her chain combo. Uh, the way it works is that she starts off with one stickiness mark. And then every time any uh, unit in your team is going to use their active skill, it doesn't have to be only her active skill. Any unit in your team uh, uses an active skill, she's going to get another sticky mark, and every sticky mark is going to increase the probability of uh, burning your opponents with your chain combo for two rounds. It started off at 12% for every stack, and it does go all the way up to 20%. So uh, you only need four actives to get 100% chance to burn with her kit. So it's not super good because you know someone like Ariel already has burn on a chain combos built in. So her equipment skill, uh, it is what I bring her for because I do want to burn my enemies more. But it's not the best equipment skill in general. And for her breakthroughs, uh, it's pretty easy to get being a four star. You can max this out fairly easy. If you do a couple of summons, it will just make her active skill preemptive. Pretty sweet. So after testing her out a little bit more, I've learned a couple of things here. One is that I seem to have misunderstood her equipment skill a little bit. Rather than each stack giving you an increased chance to burn, uh, each stack is actually going to be a separate instance, each with its own probability of inflicting a burn. So for example, here with Joni Boom, uh, her equipment is level one, so it's only 12% per stack, and she has three stacks, right? So rather than getting a 36% chance to inflict one burn, it's actually three chances each with a 12% chance to inflict burn. And I got super lucky here that all three of uh, her instances of burns actually got applied to the boss. So that's why it went from two stacks of burns all the way up to five because uh, all 12% of each three stacks actually procced. And I don't know if this is a UI error or an actual bug in the game, but it doesn't seem like her stacks go down. If you look at her um, portrait on the right and the icon on the bottom right, seems to be going up and up and up and it doesn't seem to reset even though her scale kit says that it should be reset at the end of every round. And with that out of the way, let's bring her to Ascension 3. So for her debut, it's going to be here in Molten Spire, level 72. Probably the best place to showcase her, I want to say, because the bosses like to reset tiles and she can reset it back to red. So uh, she might be good here. But here, my Ariel got super lucky. Like she almost connected everything and then she actually connected the last piece. So I'm not gonna lie, this is this is really not the case. I've done this fight, reset it so many times uh, just to get this really good RNG. And that's kind of a problem with her kit. It's too much RNG. Her burns 
are pretty orangey. Her tile reset, super orangey. The only thing good about her is um, low cooldown. Two turn on her active with preemptive, but might as well use um, one of the other two turn uh, converters, right? Like it's a lot more safer. And here, I, didn't, I don't think I even got burns, didn't I? Yeah, she has three stacks of her passive, but I did not land a single burn. So that's why I'm saying it's, it's a bit too orangey. Um, the burns are also, I think, I want to say they're the worst of the dot debuffs. Uh, I, I want to say poison is the best and then bleed close second and then burn is just a little bit not, it's not good. Like, it scales off their current health and here, like, it's already, like, the boss is already halfway, they, halfway health, so it's not, it's longer better than poison. Uh, here I baited the boss to go together and then this is a huge nails. Uh, turn five stacks of bleeds on both the bosses. I did end up maxing my Nails' equipment because I've come to decide that he is going to be a mainstay on my team. Nails, definitely a good hero. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know about Joni Boom though. I don't think, I don't think she's very good after after this fight specifically. Uh, here with our skills up, I'm going to use my Victoria first, going from 33% all the way to 62, and that's because both the bosses have five stacks of bleeds thanks to Nails. Now, Nails, Nails definitely, definitely good with um, Victoria, and here she she changed the tiles too. Like like I said, I, this is the run where I got super lucky, and now I connect all these three, so that way I can do a pretty decent turn here with Jonah's active. I should be doing a lot of chain combos because it reduces the chain combo requirement by two. So even though I only walk three tiles, it's actually five. That's why everybody gets to do their uh, chain combos here, and here, uh, dude. 1% I could have could have avoided this 6,000 uh, damage but 1% oh, feels bad man uh, like I mentioned her uh, her passive is now 11 stack so I, I think it's got to be a bug right like that's why all the bosses have like five stacks of burns because she has 11 chances to burn and the uh, the skill kit does say that it should reset but it doesn't reset uh, here for some reason here, I do have my aerial up, but there's no reason to use it because uh, the boss is going to change the tiles for next turn. So I'm I'm just gonna go with play safe and then kill it next turn potentially. It is 40% health, but I have my skills up next turn. I'm gonna have aerial, I'm going to have nails, and I'm also going to have my Joni Boom. Here, nails is gonna do so much work again. Yeah, I'm gonna use nail first. I wanna see this damage. 36,000 with five stacks of bleeds. Nails, nails definitely worth building, boys. Um, use my Earl to prage that they connect and it did. And Joni Boom doesn't actually need to do anything anymore. She did change one more tile. And I've, I pretty much won here. This is, this is definitely just an RNG fest. This is an RNG carried fight. Every time I needed Joni Boom or Ariel to do a specific thing, they actually managed to do it. Here, uh, this is where maybe I'm thinking it might just be a UI bug because we have 16 stacks with her passive and we only managed to go from 2 to 3 stacks of burn because she only applied 1 stack of burn. I mean, it's not impossible to get this probability, but it's, it's fairly low, right? To get 16 stacks and only get 1, even though it's a 12% chance. Like, I want to say it's like less than 10% for that to happen, but you know, it's still possible. And here we managed to kill the boss. The bleeds are going to kill it. 43,000 damage from the bleeds. And GFG. So what I think about Joni Boom, it kind of depends whether or not her equipment actually resets or is it just a UI issue? Because if it doesn't reset at all, getting 16 chances to apply one stack of burn means you'll reliably get five stacks of burns every turn, which is really nice for Ariel. And it might be worth upgrading her weapon to level 10 because then instead of 12% chance, uh, each instance will be a 20% chance, which is really nice. Aside from that though, her active skill, it's really unreliable. Like, it sometimes you really need a specific tile to turn red and uh, the chances of her doing work is not that high. She does deal damage with her active skill and it is on a pretty low cooldown with preemptive, so that's pretty sweet. But I just feel like it, most of the time it just doesn't do anything and you gotta get super lucky in order for her to work. Anyways, for everyone that's stuck all the way through, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.